Hello again folks, this is another latest release, the Meccano Engineering and Robotics Rally Racer set. Ten models in this one, one at a time of course. Now this was advertised, I think, probably about November last year, 2017. And looking at the main model, it doesn't really appeal. It's wrong to judge a book by its cover as it were, so sometimes you just have to dive in and uh, see what it's all about. However, looking at the other models on the back of the box, which I'll show you in a bit, they don't really appeal, but I will build one of them. If I'd have noticed that this one came with a motor, I would have probably bought one earlier. Now, there's been one, maybe two new motors over the last couple of years. It might be only one, and I don't like that one, to be honest. It's too bulky, and it was in the 25 model off-road truck set, whatever it was called. And it's quite a bulky motor for models, say, around about a foot long and six inch wide, which is more or less what the set models are. Not all of them, of course. Anyway, I'm sure it'll find a use one day, but uh, not at the moment. But this one I thought initially was a pull back and go motor. In other words, a clockwork really. Then I had a look at the box and it says here, three AAA LR03 batteries. So we'll have a look at that. And I do know that it costs quite a bit of money when they include a motor in a set. So I dare say the profit margin is a lot less. This is a level two novice build overall. Build time one to three hours, complexity again is novice, the mechanical side of things, the mechanism is rated at intermediate, but we'll see, and of course that's very subjective to your actual levels of building. That's only a guide, there's 159 parts, including the Mecha Block motor, which is a good name, so we can add that to the Magic motor as well. Got the three batteries, or rather you've got to have the three batteries, made in France again, we've got the tear off box. Uh, strip box and it says made in France on the box and this was 1999 from Argos which to be honest I think is very reasonable because you've got that motor as well and okay I dare say the plastic parts are a lot cheaper to produce so I suppose they've saved a little bit there but I don't really know a great deal about this set it, it's been out you know or at least been advertised for a month or two but I suppose because it didn't really pull me in to look at it in, in close detail I haven't really looked but this was available at Argos with the excavator Bought it at the same time, not together as such, but it was listed at the same time. The models on the back then, folks, well, all cars of some description or trucks. There is a three-wheeler, which I suppose is a bit rare these days. Well, that uses the motor, I might do that. That one, a bit more of a Paris-Dakar rally car type thing. Some of them just look a bit odd, like that one with uh, strange-looking ones. But... Each to their own, you may find them all very interesting yourself. I think the three wheelers look at the favourite at the moment. This time, folks, I won the battle of the tear off strip and got it in one. And again, we have a nicely filled box for the size of the box. And is it all going to fall out? They usually do. Oh, they're being well behaved today. So, we've got a uh, really good bag in again, you know. Multiple bag in, I'll call that, because it's probably more than three bags. Um, a bit of excess, I mean that's a bit of waste, and that one is. But this blue will go nice with the, was it the 15, or the 5 model set from a while back, which was similar sort of off-roady type vehicles. I must say folks, I am liking that 1969 Power Drive set diesel loco as an instruction book stand. It makes the 4.5 hours to build it worthwhile. <laughs> so there we are. Rally Racer instruction book with the Mecha Block motor. I must admit, I'm itching to get into looking at that. We have the uh, tips and how to's and the models included. Not necessarily in the instructions, but the models you can build with the set. This one, we've only got three in the instructions. The rest you go on Meccano's website. That's Meccano.com, not Meccano's own. I say that because I've had a few emails regarding Max and a couple of the new mechanoids. People have got problems, or alleged problems, I mean I didn't watch them build them. So it may be an error, who knows. And I think they think I'm mechano. I'm not, I am not. I can appreciate that you want to get it done sorted as quick as possible. So, you know, that's what we're there for, I suppose. That's what it's all about. So anyway, if this book was inclusive of all these models, it would be a rather thick book. But you get three, and unfortunately, in some ways, the one that I feel like making, the three-wheeler, is not one of them. The first bit of the instructions is to put the batteries in the motor. We use the Allen key to 
take the screw out for the battery box cover. That's good and I think it's very good if you can do it all with the tools provided in the set and you haven't got to hunt around for a very small posi drive screwdriver or a flat blade that might just fit in on an edge or a small pen knife or anything like that. So that's good. Instructions wise then, again we see we've got a bit more white outlining and shading of the parts in the inset parts list that's very good as I said before in the excavator set that makes things a whole lot easier for some parts that generally tend to be just a blob in those inset parts lists just looking at a page at random here and we've got uh, quite clear instructions nothing too involved by the looks of it it looks like we're doing part of the chassis and adding a few bits to it on this whatever it is and the only real way of course is to build the model to find out if there's any design issues and we'll get round to that in the very near future it will probably be that three wheeler we don't have too much in the way of brand new parts it seems apart from the motor which is there, the Mecha Block motor. There may be slightly different style of wheels, but we'll have a look in them, and if they are different, we'll show you those. We've got mechanoid parts, of course, quite common now, or mechanoid style parts. Certainly these uh, short, well, I think they are one and a half inch long angle girders. There may be different colours, different shades. This sort of trunnion, almost, that's a trunnion. But that one there is similar. That's probably new. These are all fairly common, although maybe different colour. That looks new as well, that flat plate. Again, I'm working from memory, so who knows. But it's nice to see the shading of like the metal parts here lighter and matching in the instructions a bit better than normal. Again, shading and white outline so things are not a blob. That's good. Now, value of the set, there's no washers in this set, but the value of the set in my basic fixings format if you like. Nuts you got 47 that's £2.35 at dealer prices. Standard bolts, not many, it's only 13 but that's £1.04. 9.5mm bolts are 16 in total, that's £2.40. So that's 5 79 out of your 19 99 but of course the biggest chunk will be the motor. Right folks, this is the Mecha Block motor and I suppose its shape sort of gives it its name. We have switch for off, on, forward reverse, mounting brackets here, the same other side, but we've also got holes there and slots there, both sides there, to slot a nut in for some more mounting. So we look around, I think that's it for the mounting possibilities. Yep, it looks that way. Triaxle fitting there, and we've got a I know it's cloudy because it's, it's more opaque than clear. It would have been good if it was clear actually to see the workings. We've got a small gearbox in there. And looking at the ratio there, I can't see that there's a, there is a small motor. There's your small motor, which will be 4.5 volt. I can't see where the drive is to the gearbox because it's so opaque. Uh, nah. Good. Oh, I can. I can. I can. Oh, I can see it now. Yeah, we can. Looks like we've got a worm there, which is one tooth. I don't suppose the pitch will be the same as Meccano, but without taking the motor apart, uh, which it looks like you could do. Can't tell. If anybody from Meccano is uh, watching this, it would be nice to know if that is the case. I would have thought unlikely. It, it looks quite close, but it's hard to say just looking. So we've got a worm to uh, a gear here, and then a smaller gear there to a slightly larger one there. Now the worm is one tooth, folks, and the other one is probably, I don't know, I am guessing this will not be accurate. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I reckon there's about 25 teeth maybe on that one, which goes to a smaller one, it's probably got ooh, 15 to 20 on that one, on the other side, that's all in one. And then you've got this one here, that's probably got, ooh, shall we say, 25 to 30 teeth, so that's uh, initially probably about 25 to 1, that's probably, yeah. You may have about, it's possible I suppose, you could have about a 50 to 1 reduction there, which is good for some pull and torque. But I think we should dig some batteries out and see what it's like. Right then folks, very simple. 
because the bolt head for the battery box cover is the same as the Meccano Allen bolt, so nice and easy. This is not the tool you get in the set, but it is easy to hand. I just pull that off there, and the yep the the nut, sorry the bolt is encapsulated in the battery box cover. That's really good too, and. Blimey, I haven't seen a ribbon in a battery box for years. <laughs> you have to prod it and poke at them. Right, so... It did say AAA, didn't it? They look a bit big, to be honest. Anyway, right. This is going to be a little awkward, but we'll try and do it so you can see. I'll put that down. Of course, most folks won't have a problem with this. It's just got to get past the top spring. That's in. OK. And then that one in that way. I hope. I was building the uh, the junior fire engine, Dennis, and uh, couldn't get the lights and sound to work. And guess which idiot put the battery in wrong one of the batteries in the wrong way. <laughs> so after a bit of a fumble, I realised one of the batteries wasn't in properly. So we'll slide it in from the side, and it goes straight in now when the batteries are fitted correctly. One was sticking up a bit. Tighten it up. Da da. Like that. Let's have a listen. Now this is wood, so it'll probably sound a bit louder than you think. Let's try it one way. Seems to be a bit... That brand new battery seems to be a bit up and down. Got a little light on there. Let's try the other one. Start again. There we are. One way. Off. Other way. Turns red for the other way. Okay. Sounds quite decent actually. Ooh. Could this be better than the 1960s 4.5 volt power drive motor? I think that's a given, folks. An elastic band's probably better than one of them. Okay. <laughs> so there we are. We do have a bolt hole in the switch handle. And I've just cobbled this. I know this is weird. Together from bits, lots of bits lying on the bench. Unfortunately, when you want to triaxle, there's none around really long enough, so I had to sort of improvise. This should just miss. So we slot it in there, and this is actually a boss off a wheel, what I've found lying around. <laughs> yes, it's a bit of mix and match, shall we say, and it won't be brilliant. It might just miss there. It won't be brilliant, but it will show you the motor speed more readily I suppose so it looks like we're all missing there it might be a bit lanky but we'll try it shall we now we've got to do this so you can see it and it doesn't get clattered so then folks here we go that looks pretty good doesn't it not too loud either of course that's not on the box anymore, so there you go. I know it's hard to say, I really ought to put a wheel on there and see what the torque's like. So there we are folks with a probably, I don't know, 1960s or 70s one inch pulley with a motor tyre on it. Hopefully we'll be able to give an impression of the torque it's got. It's hard to do it of course, it's a feel thing really. I'm quite impressed with the motor so far, we'll see what it's like in actual use building something perhaps a little bit more heavy than the models in the set but you know looking at this power drive diesel oak you can see behind you oh I'm think oh yeah that might be that might have been just a ticket to fit in there direct Ooh, there might be an option it's currently fitted with a 12 volt or up to 12 volt power drive unit and I'm not too keen on them either. But anyway, we have yet to try that. That'll be in the same video. Right, here we go. That takes some stopping, folks. The tyre is a bit loose on the rim. Look at that. That takes some doing. We've got the other way. The tyre's a bit loose because the rubbers start to perish on the tyre. I mean, you think that's like 50 plus years old, probably. Possibly. Certainly 40. So there you go. Not bad at all. 
So there we go folks, the Meccano Engineering and Robotics Rally Racer 10-in-1 set with the Mecha Block motor. See you again soon.